Hello students, welcome back. So gradually now we are heading towards uh, next steps on EC2 administration part. EC2 we covered and now I'll be starting uh, to discuss about the various storage options that we have on uh, Amazon Cloud. So when we talk about uh, storage management on AWS, then there are many storage services that you can avail as per your infrastructure requirement. So various storage types, when we talk about, uh, they are categorized into three types. First one is object storage. So object storage is referred to as the kind of storage where, where your data is stored in the form of objects and it's segregated across different uh, segments. And if we talk about AWS storage, then uh, Amazon S3 is the best example for object storage. This is cost effective and it can be accessed via HTTP or HTTPS using the APIs. Now, if we talk further about uh, next type of uh, storage service, then that is file storage. So file storage, as name suggests, is the type of storage that is uh, introduced as file system to your instances, to your services, and you can utilize it. And Amazon Elastic File System is the best example of file storage. Next one is the block storage. So block storage is also called as Amazon Elastic Block Storage or EBS. And if you remember, uh, during the instances that we created, the first step that we were using was like uh, we when we were creating the instance, then you got an option where you have to select the volume. So that volume is actually a elastic block store. And from there you can select general purpose or you can also go for HDD that is hard disk drive based storage. If you remember, we selected uh, general purpose storage because that is cost effective. And of course it's also giving good uh, performance. So once you select the storage volume, then next is like attach to your Amazon EC2 instance. So like when we are creating it, then it is by default, the first step is the storage selection and then it is attached there. But you can also have multiple EBS volumes attached to your instances. And then once you attach it, then you progress further where you start your instance and you start uh, running your application. So this is just a short and quick overview about uh, the storage types. And next now we will be starting with the S3 bucket, which is actually the object storage. And uh, I will demonstrate you that how we can create one S3 bucket and how we can attach that to our EC2 volume. So stay tuned for next video. Thanks. So subscribe, like and hit bell icon to my channel. Thank you.